Now, the kids may not want to think about it, but this upcoming soon school year will be here pretty soon. Chesterton Academy of Our Lady of Hope here in Rhode Island will soon start its enrollment. Here to tell us what uh, what interested students should know is board members Megan Riley and Ed Walsh. Good morning, folks. Good morning. morning Great to have you here. Now, we were talking just so, I mean, we're going to talk like Rhode Island language, language <laughs> just so everybody knows. The school itself is where St. Francis was on Jefferson Boulevard, correct? Yes. That's correct. correct. Okay, and yep. you folks took it over. Yes. We did. Yeah, okay, that's great. All right, so now when does school begin? It begins in August. In August for you folks, too. Yep. All right, so, so tell us about the about the Chesterton Network and, and the history of the school itself. So the school actually started, uh, the first one started in 2008 okay. by a guy named Dale Alquist out of uh, Minnesota. And his thought was just, he was looking for better uh, high school options for his daughter. And so there was only one around until 2014, another one popped up. And then over the last three or four years, we're, we're gonna be up to 60 schools. Wow, So now is this all across the country? All across the country, and I think there's a couple schools internationally as well. There wow. are, and we'll be the first one in New England. Okay, um, so what makes this school so unique? So the school is very unique because we are first and foremost a Catholic school. Although we are not a diocesan school, we have been given the blessing of the bishop and also got the official decree in November of last year. And so we are a parent-led school. It's a Catholic school. Mm -hmm. It's in the classical style. So we will be teaching in the Socratic method and we will uh, seek to have the students learn how to think and not tell them what to think. Got it. Um, and it's an integrated curriculum as well. So all of the subject matters go together. They make sense. And the curriculum is also a curriculum that's followed by all of the Chesterton Network schools across the country. One thing I would add to that is, and, th and this is where the journey began, I won't go down all the, the into the weeds here, <laughs> but it, it's an affordable school, right, okay. Will? So it's $8,000, um, and that was a big piece of why we started it and, and why we looked into it. Relative to other private schools and Catholic schools, sure. we're, we're a fraction of the cost, half a quarter of the cost of a lot of schools. Well, now, how has the uh, community response been since you folks kind of moved into that location? The community has been absolutely wonderful. I would say, especially since we purchased the old St. Francis yes, property. Yes, yes. We have had so many stories about, oh, my father did the windows right. um, in the church, and my children went there, and um, people who have uh, been parishioners there, right. um, and now hope to come back, because we will be keeping the church open for uh, daily masses uh, as part of the school curriculum. And in general, all over Rhode Island, and even in Massachusetts, Connecticut, we have had people coming out of the woodwork. We've had people offer to volunteer to help fix up the school, to donate, and to just help us spread the word. And of course, enrollment has been great. So we're very excited. That's really a plus. And I think a lot of people were sad when the, first of all, when St. Francis closed, and then wondering what was going to happen to the church itself. And you folks, that's that's a good thing. So how many, how many kids will, will be able to enroll in, in your location? Because so the school itself is, is, first of all, it's in good shape and it's a pretty good size yes. too. So we're, we're roughly 22,000 square feet. Um, I'm not sure if that includes the church or not. Right. Um, so we have a lot of uh, room to expand. We'll start out with just under 20 kids for the first year. Okay. But that's only two grades, ninth and 10th, mostly ninth graders. But in the second year, we'll have all four grades. That's really good. Well, I mean, with, with class sizes so small, the kids will really get, I mean, basically one-on-one -on -one, you know, instruction and, and really care every, every single day. Yes, and we have a wonderful headmaster who's actually a Rhode Island native, okay. and he will be teaching some courses, and we've hired on um, a few other teachers as well. So our first year is going to be slow and steady. That's okay. And we hope to expand, and now that we have the new Fra St. Francis property, we will be able to do that. Um, and so in the coming years, when we open up to a full high school, right. we hope to have a lot more people enrolled. One, one also thing that I note is we're actually starting a sports program now. Okay. So we'll be joining the Rhode Island Interscholastic League. So that's an exciting initiative. Which that is we'll also be, a good thing too. Yeah. And it's easy to get to. Which yes. all every Rhode Island. Super easy. <laughs> that's, why, that, that's actually why we picked it. We, lo we looked at like yes. all the families we and we said, what is right in the middle of Rhode Island? <laughs> yes. So. Right. yes, I was going to say easy on the highway, yeah. not, too, not too hard to get to. So very, very simple. If someone wants to, uh, you know, enroll their kid, how do they do that? So you can go to our website, okay. which is chestertonri.org, and there are a number of links on there. There's contact information. You can sign up for our newsletter. You can sign up to donate, and really anything that you want to know, including the history of the Chesterton Networks, right. is on there. Um, I do want to tell you that we are going to have our first 
um, gala coming up in October okay. at the Crown Plaza in Warwick. Also close. Also very close. <laughs> uh, we like to be centralized here yes, in Rhode Island. Yes, we do. And um, that information is also on the website. So really anything anyone wants to know is on there. We have a lot of volunteer opportunities and any any way they want to get involved would be very helpful to us and we'd be very excited. That's all good. Well, best of luck to you folks and thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Thanks, well. thanks Now, so if, uh, you. if you'd like more information about the, about the school itself and how easy it is for you to find, yes, Rhode Islanders it is, you can head on over to roadshow.com.